Welcome to this video where we'll be talking today about the pressure distribution inside of this tank. I will also be doing a tutorial on how to find the function of pressure on the top surface of the tank and you can find that video here. We started off by finding the constant C units in this equation. You can find that video here if you missed it. This is the second part of the thermodynamic equation where we'll be talking about how to find the pressure distribution. In this example we're given a uh, function that determines the profile of pressure as a gas is injected into the tank and we're asked to prove where the pressure is the highest. So this can be a challenging problem but when you break it down to the fundamentals it's not too bad. First um, we know that the pressure inside of the tank is equal to a constant times the uh, rho to a power of gamma. We're also given that the profile of density is equal to this equation. So to figure this out we've got to combine both equations and wherever I see my rho in this equation I write this function. So what's it going to be now? It's going to be P equals C times rho naught times 1 minus R squared over D squared, all that to the power of gamma. So what do I do now? I want to take the derivative of the function. When I take the derivative, the highest and lowest points where there's a zero tangent is going to be equal to zero. So the highest pressure is going to be um, equivalent to zero. That's how I find it. So I'm going to say the derivative pressure over our variable r is equal to, now in this case I've got a power, so I start off with doing just the power rule. Obviously that's going to be gamma c times p naught times 1 minus r squared over e squared to the gamma minus 1. And then I can do the chain rule for the inside, and that simplifies to times. And notice this one goes to 0, so I'm going to have negative 2r times p naught, because the p naught is distributed. And when I distribute the p naught to the 1, that goes to 0, divided by d squared. Perfect. Just perfect. So if I set this equal to 0, then I can find my solution of where the pressure is the highest. I've got two things being multiplied. This would be the equivalent of, say, when I do the quadratic equation, you know, and I've got like x minus 3 times x plus 5 and I say x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0 so x must equal 3 and x must equal negative 5. Same thing. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the factors of the equation that I have here. So in this case I have gamma times c times p naught I should be calling that rho naught. My professor would be ang very angry with me if I called it p naught, but rho kind of looks like a p. Times 1 minus r squared over d squared to the gamma minus 1 equals 0. So let's solve for that. I uh, divide by my constant, I divide by my gamma, and I say to the power of 1 over gamma minus 1, all that on zero still equals zero. So, and I can even divide out my rho naught. That gives me one minus r squared over d squared equals zero. Moving it to the other side, that gives me r squared over d squared, negative r squared over d squared equals one. And that implies that r squared equals 1d 
squared negative 1 d squared and r equals negative d squared radical which equals d i. So that wasn't pretty, but we have just solved for this factor. Let's try the other one. This will give me negative 2r rho naught over d squared equals 0. So what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply this side by d squared, cancel this, then I'm going to divide by negative 2 p naught, which will cancel this and this, and this will give me r equals 0. That is pretty. So I found that our uh, diameter times i is a place where the pressure is the highest. That does not work in real life. That's a completely false answer, which usually happens when we figure things out. You get one answer that completely goes out the window, and another answer that makes perfect sense. And in this case, we find that our pressure is highest at the center of the tank. That is a proof of this problem, and I really hope that this helps out. If you have any questions, you can post to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash jocoengineering. You can find me, jocoengineeringhelp at gmail.com. And you can find a directory of all my tutorials here. I hope this video helped, and I'll catch you next time. Please remember to subscribe because that really helps me out.